Penny, yes, is my Michael Jordan. I mean, that was my guy. I, I raced home to watch his games whenever he played. Um, I just, you know, I, I think because he didn't do it for that long, um, he, he had four really great years and he started having knee problems. So I, I think it's, it's probably the longevity is what really kept him off. But when he was healthy, there was no doubt. Behind Michael Jordan, I mean, Penny Hardaway was the best player that was on the basketball court other than Michael Jordan. So um, my favorite, a lot of guys' favorite, but that's probably what kept him off. With the broken wrist, he suffered on uh, the game against uh, Danny Fortune and company. Fortune uh, for the Dallas Mavericks committing a flagrant foul and that resulted in uh, Chewbacca going down. Big loss for him because really he was is. really, really coming on and coming on in a big, big way. They go right inside to Penny Hardaway, and Hardaway scores over guard on Garacek to put the Suns on top two to nothing. Hardaway matched up with Sean Marion. Or rather, that's uh, McGrady with Sean Marion. Penny Hardaway with the ball and knocks down the 20-footer. So Anthony Hardaway, two for two to get the Suns off to a good start. And an offensive rebound for Tom Gugliotta. Hardaway rifles it inside to Marion. Very nice turn by uh, Penny Hardaway. Three, three. Hardaway in the post again, falling away against Gordy Girachek and knocks down the fallaway jumper. So Penny Hardaway has it all going on early, and Johnny Davis will use a timeout. Now let's see if they keep Penny Hardaway on the low post against T-Mac. Already T-Mac has pushed him off the block. Hardaway almost lost it, gets it back, shoots from 20. Hardaway already with three field goals, make it four. And that one is good for three points for Penny Hardaway. Jalen Lee is open for three. McGrady inside with the rebound and the putback. Good hustle by Donnell that time. Here's Hardaway on the wing. Oh, oh man, he scoops it in. Oh, that is, is Penny Hardaway. That is Penny Hardaway from a long time ago. And McGrady misfires and Gugliano rebounds ahead to Marbury. Hardaway spins into traffic, draws the foul, and the basket is good. What a shot by Anthony Hardaway. Man. I have not seen this from Penny. Look at Sean Marion. Sean Marion's about to go crazy. See, Sean's saying, where's this been the last three years? <laughs> Man, that's pretty good. Man. Penny Arnaway's got to the entire Phoenix. You know, he's, uh, he's finally uh, seems to be where he... Oh, and he picks up the offensive foul there. Boy, oh boy. Not going to do anything wrong tonight, is he? But Penny says he's finally come to terms with all the issues that he had when he left Orlando in Phoenix. I mean, the effort is, well, you know, I mean, I'm just talking about just the playing hard. It's just what's frustrating to me right now. McGrady jumps to the rim, draws the foul, I mean, he'll shoot too. You have to come out and at least defend. If you don't do anything else, when you're trying to reverse a trend, you have to come out and defend. And it's just not there. And, and, the, and, and defense is simply effort. I mean, that's all that is. And his term was compete, effort, whatever you want to call it, because the coach is right there with you. Well, I, I mean, that's all I'm seeing. Tough shot. That's one of those you say you're not going to catch it here in the paint. He's been trying to get the technical, and you hope. But it finally happened. He actually raised his voice for the first time in this game, and he let the players have it. Bottom line, he says the effort has to be there. But he needs to touch it. But the other thing is, T-Mac has to be real aggressive, more aggressive with the basketball. Now, here's what they've done out every time out. They've gone to Sean Marion. By the way, beat McGrady because the shot. The ball is loose, picked up by Garacek. White sets the screen for Hardaway. McGrady reaches in, gets on the floor. Penny Hardaway is fouled by McGrady. Uh, 
That's the first team foul on the Magic in the period. Uh, three seconds on the clock, and I, I like the effort, T-Mac. I'm not going to say anything about this because you have to do, you have to make this kind of play. Now, he reaches in right there, and you see him grab the arm. Shot clock reset to 14. Right away, hounded by McGrady again. Gets rid of it to Johnson. We're inside of a minute. Phoenix still leads by nine. Penny Hardaway for three, and that one's good. That's the kind of thing that has happened so often to the Magic during this losing streak. Plenty of time left. Howard, short jumper, no good. McGrady tried to follow it up and got hit in the face. Oh boy, this kind of this kind of effort is what you've been waiting for this entire game. You cannot continue to His fourth dig yourself a big deep hole and just climb in it and have to fight and fight and fight to get back out of it. The first time he takes the ball to the basket and scores one inside, I gets to the free throw line. Uh, that's the way Penny, uh, excuse me, T-Mac's going to get it going. Penny knocks down another jump. Now the other number one is just amazing tonight. Penny Hardaway with 20. I'll tell you what, I do think though, Penny is going to take the ball out of hands of the other people, other uh, some more prolific scores. Namely, Tracy McGrady. A three for McGrady. That's his first field goal since the first quarter. McGrady into the paint, finds Teron Lou, open for three. McGrady, an offensive rebound and a foul. So T Mac cuts the lead back to 12. Shown by the Suns against that magic zone. Ten points for Scott Williams. McGrady to the basket. Contact at the rim, but no call. But two points for Tracy McGrady. Got to slow this down against Marbury. Oh boy, bad decision by Gooden, but even worse by Marbury. Yeah. And Gooden dunks it. Penny for two. Man, what a night Penny Hardaway is having against his former team. Season high coming into this game is 20. He now has 22. Tracy McGrady wills it. And that's as open as Tracy has been in a long, long time. McGrady with the ball. He drives into the lane. Dishes to Howard. He lays nice. it in. Get, just get the ball into T-Max hands one way or the other. And he draws two defenders. Now works against Hardaway. Good check. For three. Good check back to McGrady. Uh, Stolen by Penny Hardaway. Up? Brings it over the midcourt line and the Magic win the ball again. All right. All right. The skid is on the skid in Orlando. You know what? It was just to a point, man, where I just wanted to come out and just give it 110% on both ends. Uh, it didn't go so well for me on the offensive end. Uh, Penny Hardaway got going in that first quarter. My, uh, I got the assigned job to try to shut him down, did my best, just, uh, basically just turned the game around with my energy and my leadership, just trying to lead these guys. You know, 19 game losing streak, it wears on you, you get frustrated, it was tough, but uh, you know, we've been fighting every game, guys came out, did a tremendous job keeping their head up and playing hard. Well, you know, some nights we kind of are the man, uh, guys tend to take advantage of on us on the uh, offensive end or, you know, finding mismatches and, you know, they uh, they exhaust that uh, like they did tonight with, with Gear Tech. So we had to find some way to shut them down on the offensive end and we went to a zone, uh, something that we've been working on in the past and uh, it worked in our favor. You know, the team's been doing that uh, to us and, and we've been struggling. So uh, we returned the favor to Phoenix tonight. It was, it was, it was real heavy. <laughs> My legs started to buckle a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, it's good to come out and get this win. Hopefully, we can build off this and we can move on now.